free cruise and we, we took it the next year and we went to Alaska and they gave us a very nice um, cabin and they were very kind to us. Well bold. Thank you very Fair much. <laughs> well bold, Irene. Back on the galaxy, Jane had to give the performance of her career. Let's go and show these Americans what an English girl can do. She's facing another full house. Miss Jane McDonald. About 20 years ago, way down in New Orleans, a group of fellas found a new kind. Jack was there to see if his moves would make a difference. And they decided to call it jazz. Just because I was in the audience watching it, you know, it, I'll tell you right now, I, I was on that stage with her every step of the way. You know, I felt what she was feeling. I get what Jack is saying now. Only know it's sounding right, so come on in. She did exactly what I wanted her to do. Whether I helped her get there or not, it wasn't the point. The point was she did it. She got to that point where she grabbed the audience with her voice, with her body, you know, little things that she just did and implemented into her her concert. It was a better reaction. But will the cruise director think it was good enough to stay on board? Where are you going? I'm going to... I've got a meeting with Doug today about my ratings. So it's... this. I mean, this could be it. You know, it's either stay or see you. You know? <laughs> so the ratings have got to have improved for you to stay. Absolutely. The absolutely thinking, am I going to pack my case after this meeting? Because that's how cutthroat it is. Last cruise, we knocked him dead. Really? As, far as, the, as far as the ratings. More good news, you knocked him dead. <gasps> Cha-ching. Mm. That good stuff? Oh, God. <laughs> is that oh, good? Lovely. Oh, that's great. <laughs> really? Yeah. Great, thanks. Thank you. Ha, good for you. God, thank God that's worked out so well. I've been really panicking about that. That would have been on television. That would have been my career over. So, thank God. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> so, that's it. I'm going off to celebrate now. See you later. See you. La, 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 la. Yes! <laughs> For now, her position on the galaxy was assured. And it was the making of Jane McDonald. All of the bad feelings you did see over the course of the time that she was on that she did become more confident. And the response from her shows became, uh, she grew during, the, during the, the few months that she was on. So while it started to go well for Jane, Doug had a real case of foot in mouth. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Fortunately, there was uh, a gentleman that had uh, some sort of medical problem about three rows down uh, up from the stage, and I really couldn't see anything. A few friends I'd like Doug to remained oblivious to this unfolding medical emergency and stuck to his script. The, the entire audience could see that he was having a problem, and I could, I said, we have some good news. And also just a little bit of bad news before you go. Now for the good news, it's all signs of things coming up over the sh on the ship tonight. And now for the bad news. So I heard this collective gasp from the audience and I and the thing was is that that I, I didn't know that this was happening out there well ladies and gentlemen here aboard galaxy and most certainly on the inaugural cruise there is no bad news thanks for coming have a wonderful time I, I go around the back and suddenly they're you know they're taking this gentleman to the end of the infirmary and I was like oh 
You know, I mean, honestly. As they say, ha, the show must go on. All right, I'll see you later. And where is Doug the cruise director today? Doug left the cruises years ago, but he hasn't left showbiz. He now provides some of the glitz that audiences demand on cruises. His company is based in the main cruising port of the USA, Fort Lauderdale. We really set out to be a one-stop shop for entertainment, uh, certainly for the cruise ships. We've got the scenic uh, backdrops, we can do theatrical uh, uh, productions. The costumes, the scenery, the makeup, the props, the audience that lifts you when you're down. We can also supply the entertainment, the bands, the musicians, the overall production, truly that, that one-stop shop. That's right. All his years at sea gave him the idea for this nice little earner. Wake up one day and you got all this stuff to play with, and you realize that, yeah, I'm a producer. And does he miss cruising? No way. I get such a kick out of this. And what of our heroine, Jane? Did the struggle on the cruise scupper her dreams? When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. Welcome to Macclesfield on a cold September evening. Jane is back in her heartland, and 6,000 people are expected, come rain, sleet, or snow. And now in showbiz turns, she's the big kahuna, the big cheese, and a very, very important person. Uh, really, we watched the cruise ship, and from there on we followed her. Oh, I saw her on the cruise. Beautiful looking lady, and a lovely personality. Mega voice. Yeah, absolutely great. Hello, Macclesfield! She's still got the moves. Jack will be happy. If you see me walking down the street And I start to cry Each time we meet Just walk on The foundation of Jane's success has always been her roots. We can all have dreams and aspirations, but I'm still a Yorkshire girl, and that's probably gone more for me than anything. With these hardcore fans, Jane's disastrous performance on the cruise seems a long way away. The audience have come to see me, so they're not going to go up and walk out and go get a burger halfway through. But in the ten years since the cruise, Jane has been both at the very top and the very bottom. I am so grateful now that that was then and this is me now. She's had massive success with recording contracts and TV deals, but also huge heartache. More on that later in the week.